morning guys, day 3 aka Indonesia's Independence Day. And we are going to be heading towards Waingapo today. I don't know how far we're going to make it, but but we are just eating next to the airport. There's a Dapur Sumba restaurant here. And there's a group of people who came off the plane. 32 people who are heading to Wekuri Lagoon apparently. So we got lucky that we did it yesterday instead of today. destination just wanted to show the view coming down the mountain from there and a lot of rice fields here so we gotta keep going this way and because yesterday we lost the first gear to our 4x4 Jeep I think we're gonna struggle going uphill everywhere because this engine is only one liter so hopefully there's no steep mountains ahead to get out of this place but apparently this is like a waterfall in the middle of the rice fields, so let's go check it out. I think it's there where the little building is. Let's go! Can't really tell where the waterfall is, but it's supposed to be somewhere behind us, somewhere over there. There's no roads leading up to it, so I'll just show you where we are. This is pretty cool. There's people working there with the little knives on their hips, as you can see. I can hear the waterfall down there. So maybe we can just park over here and then walk. But yeah, Sumba nature. Pretty awesome. to stop on the side of the road and just walking along this this little bit here and these kids ex are excited to help us out find the waterfall I think whenever you come to Sumba it's that's what others told us too is just get someone to help you out and you can I don't know throw them 20 or 50 for helping you out, but at least you have a local guy to help you. So to get to this waterfall, well it's down here, but we're going a little bit further and walking along this little edge, if you can see behind me. Don't look into the camera. Look on the street, look on the road. Grandpa behind us as well. But they said about 20 people per week come here right now. Hey, what are those? Burung. All right, almost at the falls. So Papak up there apparently made these steps, and they're growing all sorts of stuff here. I don't know if you can see these little crickets hovering above the rice fields, pretty cool.
so this is the waterfall. Yeah, it's strange, a lot of these places in Sumba are so inaccessible that you don't see many tourists coming here. And especially now only domestic tourism is allowed, so... You... that's why there's only 20 people. All the locals are struggling here. Well, they're poor as it is. This island being one of the poorest islands in Indonesia, but... Yeah, the tourism, I think... If, if they made the roads a little bit better, and the maps a little bit more accurate, I think this place could really be something special. Well, it already is. But what makes this special is exactly the fact that there's no tourists here. So, cool story. I, I believe it's called juxtaposition. So, back next to the car. And heading off to the next spot. But I can't get enough of this view. And another thing is, apparently in Sumba, because our car keys don't lock the doors, you can just lock the... You can just keep the doors unlocked and nobody does anything. But I don't want to jinx it, but we have like laptop and two bags in here. So yeah, looks like people are friendly here. Fingers crossed. Not gonna try our luck too much. But let's head to the next destination. So halfway through our next destination, just made it up some hill and on the right hand side there is a lookout point, but nobody's here, which means perfect. So let's go check out, Jesus, there's some nasty views from here. Let me get up first and then I'll show you. All right, ready? Filling up, filling up your cars. Pretty cool. We are about three hours away from our destination. No, no waterfall. A lot of problems heading towards the waterfall, so we're gonna leave it for tomorrow instead. Without the first gear, it's impossible. The, the roads are too mountainous here, so we almost got stuck about 517 times. All right, quick stop in the forest, as you can see. Pretty neat, neat little place. Car is holding on, still holding on strong. So today is in the Indonesia's Independence Day, and I was hoping to see some games and action that they do during this holiday. But unfortunately, when we're driving past towards uh, Wangapu from Dambaloka, we haven't really seen much. So hopefully, we're gonna keep going, and then hopefully we'll find something cool. Lurus! We just stopped on the side of the road to get some food. Most places just have mi goreng, pretty much, or indomie, not even nasi, which is surprising because there's so much rice grown here and all the Indonesians eat rice like three times a day. But there's, what I wanted to say was, and my orni ornithologist followers will appreciate this, uh, Sumba is one of the most biodiverse places on earth when it comes to birds. So there's over, not over, but I read that there's about 200 different species of birds here. So if you're a bird fan, come to Sumba. And another thing I wanted to say is here, so weird, you see a lot of these red spots on the ground, but it's not blood, as I first thought. It's actually the chewy thing that I tried next to Wekuri Lagoon. So they chew this thing and then they have to spit out speed it out. So that's why there are so many red spots like this on the road. Nobody's died, calm down.
final destination of today. There's a sunset lookout point, maybe 45 minutes from Wangapu. So the car made it, surprisingly. I got Masuk Angin, Angin as well while driving here. Look at that horse. That's majestic. really see very well. Aha! <laughs> this guy's throwing tricks on the horse. Hard to record straight into the sun. But yeah, apparently you can take pictures with horses here. Ooh, they broke the chair. to it. Looks like there's a lot of wild pigs here as well. When I say wild, I don't mean wild actually. As you can probably see from all these videos, I'm an expert in the history of everything. This is big, it is wild. David Attenborough signing out. All right, let's go give these people some tips for showing us the mountain top. And then we are heading off. Had to go down to the car to get some money. Aha, who is laughing there? They caught me in the act of vlogging. Right, last clip before I'm signing off, but almost at the city and just wanted to show you where we are right now. Crazy. Look at this. Well, the camera obviously doesn't show again, but let me zoom in. So there's a city down there. Down there. You can see the water line as well. Super high. Okay, signing off. For real now.